to Learning Lockdown coming to you from Liverpool College. I'm Mr S and he's not here. He's had to go, but it's okay. You've got me and I can just about cope with him. We've got science now, but in fact, it isn't just me because I've got a special guest, okay? Now do you just do this. Our magic boy with the magic button to make our special guest appear. Here he comes. Who called me at this unearthly hour? What are you doing there, you vagabond? I'm going to make sure that you regret this day. Or I'm going to rip out your inside easily. That was the wrong person. I do apologise. Okay, let's just rip that out. I obviously pressed the wrong button, so I'll try again. Hopefully this one will work. Hello, sir. Oh, hello. hello. Now this is, let me try and get this right, because I don't want to mispronounce this. Oh. Your name is Professor Wittenwabi. No, no, it is Weitenwabi. Vitamin baby. Vitamin baby. Okay, so Dr. Vitamin baby. Vitamin baby. Vitamin baby. Da. Da. Great. So you're here for science, is that correct, Doctor? So we are going to try. Well, I'm just going to hand over to you. Do you need my pen? Uh, no. Okay. You're staying here? I'll go. Okay. Okay. What we're going to try and do is we're going to try and create a rainbow in a glass. So what you're going to need at home is you're going to need at least Four, or three, I don't actually mind. Or five, or six, or seven, or eight little containers. You're going to need some warm water. This one is leaking uh, <laughs> quite badly. And you're going to need some food coloring and some sugar. Now, make sure you've asked your parents' permission. And in fact, get them along with you to try this one. Because we're going to make a rainbow in a glass. Now, the first thing you need to do is put a cup of water in each of your water containers. Thanks. <laughs> so, some water. <laughs> There we go, nice and neat and careful does it. There we go, there we go, perfect. And now you're going to need your food coloring, so I've got some blue food coloring here, I'll add this to the first one. Just a couple of drops will do it, no more, no less. One or two, no, no three. That's some blue, uh, red, and I don't actually have a false one, so I'm going to mix yellow and blue, because I'm a scientist. There we go, bits of yellow, and a touch of blue, so we should get, yes, that's right, messy. Uh, green, okay, there we go. Hey, look at that, science, eh? or art, whatever you want to call it. We've got three waters of three different colors, and the colors are going to be part of our rainbow. But now we want to get these waters different density, okay? So, this is where we need our sugar. Now, you need to be very careful with this one. So, in the first container, I would like you to add one, ein, tablespoon of sugar. In the second one, two. Make sure you remember which one is which. Do them in order, it will help. The next one, three. And the next one, four. Now you need to give them a good stir until all the sugar inside has dissolved. What is this doing here? Why is this in here? What on earth? Who, who's brought this in here? This is a very dangerous thing. I'm this is it. So sorry. Okay, I'll get rid of it. That's not very much. It's going to be absolutely amateurs. What we are doing is making sure all these sugar particles are dissolved in between all the water molecules. And we're going to get denser water. The one with more sugar in will be denser than the other three. So there's the yellow, I can still feel some sugary crummies through trying to get rid of those. It's there, it's there in. Make sure all the sugar has dissolved. There's a lot of sugar in that, but it's like my Nana's tea. Oh, that's this one. Okay, let me check. Yes, I see no sugar. Dissolve, dissolve. I think we're good. Okay, now we've got our four types of solution here. Different densities. Now, the one with the most sugar in is the most dense solution. And the one with the least sugar in is the least dense solution. Now, the denser the solution, the heavier it is. So, what we're going to do is now going to work in reverse order. Starting with our heaviest. So we made this one first, but we're going to go with this one, the heaviest. And we're going to add it very carefully, very, 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 very carefully into another container. Now this one needs to be as see-through, as transparent as possible, so you can see the rainbow. And we're starting with the heaviest liquid, because this will sit at the bottom. 
and hopefully if the science works, the lighter liquids will sit on top and we should have a lovely rainbow effect. Okay, good. This was slightly too big for mass range, so I get rid it. Sorry. And I go to smaller containers. So, I carefully put the densest liquid at the bottom. Oh, yes. And I might want to add a little bit more. Okay, so I've got a nice level of the green liquid there. Then we go to our next liquid, it's red. So this one should have less sugar in, should be less dense, and therefore will sit on top of the green liquid. Now you've got to be very careful when applying this because you do not want these liquids to mix. You want them to sit carefully on top of one another. Okay. Right, looking good, looking good. I now go to the yellow. Finally, to the blue. Now, if we bring the camera nice and close. Okay, now I've done this very quickly so you can get on to doing it at home. Now we should see at the bottom. Okay, there's a light hit it right. We've got a yellow as a color at the bottom, it moves into an orangey red. And at the top, we have a blue liquid set on top. Now, we've only done a very small amount of liquid here, but you could do it very carefully at home with more colors and more liquids. Try and separate the yellows and the reds because they're very similar on the color scale and see how far you can get it. If you need any more help, there is a video attached down below, probably explaining how to do it properly. Okay, so that is, could you see that, Mr. S? Sweet. So that is our science for today. It will get better. Thank you very much. Back to you.